hello hope everybody is well uh, so today i have decided to upload another video that will help you solve certain finance problems uh, or questions that are given in the finance books so this chapter is basically related to capital budgeting so as you know that every business has to invest in different projects in order to grow or in order to uh, expand the operations of the business or to be more successful so there are certain uh, financial calculations that can help the business to analyze different projects uh, that might be available for the business and with the help of capital budgeting techniques and these tools that have been developed uh, can uh, allow the business to properly decide between accepting certain projects and rejecting certain projects so we'll take this simple example where we are asked to calculate the net present value, the internal rate of return and the profitability index for the projects uh, of which the cash flows are given and we are assuming a cost of capital of 14% for each project. So this is the first scenario in which uh, an initial outlay of 10,000 is going to take place and the inflows are going to be 3500 for the next four years. So we'll see how do we calculate the net present value for such a uh, question or such a scenario so what you do is first of all you click over here and uh, our goal is to calculate the net present value so we are trying to calculate net present value so excel has designed certain formulas that help you to calculate such uh, lengthy calculations that are done manually in a much smarter and efficient manner so as you see that I clicked is equal, I clicked on the cell and then I wrote is equals to uh, net present value NPV bracket open and the formula appears that is showing that the first thing is going to be the rate and then we are going to take the, uh, we are going to place the comma and then we are going to select the values. Now you have to remember that these are the cash flows that are going to take place. So you have to select all of the cash flows and leave out the initial cash outflow so now we close the bracket so if you remember from the formula of net present value it was the present value of all the future cash flows minus the initial cash outflow so if you notice that the same thing i have done over here that it is 14 percent is the cost of capital we have taken all of the cash flows but one thing that is remaining is to select the cash initial cash outflow since there is an uh, already a minus sign over here as it is a cash outflow so i have written plus then you select this cell and you press enter so this shows you that the net present value of the this set of cash flows is 197 dollars uh, so if you remember from your uh, concepts that you studied in net present value or capital budgeting were that the net present value has to be greater than zero in that case we can only accept it so for the first project i think we can accept it even though it is a very low value and it would indicate that the business is not going to profit so much as uh, it has spent four hours of labor uh, and several resources just to get uh, 200 dollars so it would not be appropriate uh, but still it is having a positive value and based on the criteria we might accept it so again we go for npv uh, 0.14 that is the cost of capital we select the cash inflows this time for three years and we close the bracket and write plus and initial cash outflow and that is how we get the negative value over here of the net present value this indicates that if you take the present value of all the cash flows uh, over here it is visible that 15,000 three years would be 45,000 but time value of money says we have to discount these values and when we did that so it is uh, giving us a lower answer than 37,000 by 2,175 we are making a loss mm, and similarly we will do the same calculation for this one and uh, we will see for the last cash flows we will see NPV bracket open 0 0.14 we select all these values of the cash flows for 5 years and we close the bracket plus sign the initial cash outflow and we get a value of 6,637 negative that is a negative cash flow so for these two projects we are going to reject them because of negative cash flows this one might be accepted just for the sake of the positive cash flow that it is generating now the next step is to calculate the internal rate of return so the internal rate of return you must remember that it is not done directly if you calculate it manually it is a lengthy procedure where you have to 
properly calculate one by one all of the values uh, through trial and error and then sir when you get the answer then you compare it with the cost of capital so if the internal rate of return is greater than the cost of capital that means you have to accept the project and if it is not greater than the cost of capital then you are incurring a loss i will explain it just let's start so we write is equals to irr bracket open and we select the cash flows this time and this is how we uh, get the value over here of the all of these values actually from the beginning are added even from the initial value uh, that is the cash inflow is calculated in this manner so you go for is equals to IRR C8 till C12 so you select all of these values you get the IRR value similarly IRR bracket open you select all of the values from cash inflows and cash outflows and that is how you get the answer for this and similarly for the last one IRR bracket open all of these cash flows and then so it is quite effective in this manner that we can decide between accepting or rejecting the project so only in this case which is 15% is indicating a greater value than cost of capital uh, so this means the project is going to generate a return of 15% out of which the business has to pay its creditors the amount of interest and the shareholders the amount of dividends that is going to cost them 14% so only a profit of 1% which is not so good uh, to accept it actually but we may consider it as acceptable because the IRR has to be greater than cost of capital but in these two cases we are not even able to generate enough income to pay off our cost of capital the man money we have raised from financing of debt and equity so this is how you calculate this and furthermore the last calculation is of profitability index so you see it is just another version of net present value so it is the uh, all the present value of all the cash flows is divided by the initial cash outflow so i have done that over here so if we add all of these uh, values together we get 10197 for the first project 34824 for the second and 58362 for the third and there are the initial cash outflows so you simply press is equals to you divide this value by this value and get the profitability index so anything above one indicates a profit which is not such a high value over here but still we accept it but in these two projects we reject it because of uh, very low values and not even meeting one one value that is the basic criteria so hope this helped thank you very much subscribe my channel take care